Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we are engraving a leather briefcase. Uh, we're not doing a ton to it, but we're doing enough, so I wanted to make a video. Uh, we've just got three initials, and we want to put them right here underneath these zippers. So we're going to fire up the CO2, and we're going to get right into it. So we're just going to do a little bit of setup uh, as we usually do before jumping into software and the first thing we want to check is just to make sure that our bag is nice and level with the laser so our engraving is going right here and of course we have a dip in the material so we do have a simple solution for this uh, problem here and that's just these wooden blocks uh, so all we're going to do is open up the bag and we're going to insert the wooden blocks which are going to press up on the bag and bring it level with everything else. And we can go ahead and just zip that back up. And now we have a nice flat surface uh, on which we can engrave. So that's one problem taken care of. Thing we want to do is just make sure that our bag is nice and straight right off the bat. And what we're going to use for the bag are these leather stitching lines. Okay, so we're just going to run across and make sure that our uh, stitches are in line with the laser and then we're going to run up and down and make sure our stitches are in line with the laser uh, it's pretty easy and it's a nice way to make sure that we are nice and center and level before we get started so we know we're straight vertically we know we're straight horizontally uh, and our uh, laser red dot is right here on the center strip so we know that it's center so all we need to do now is go ahead and move our laser head up to the target engraving area and set our origin and we know that we are good to go so we can get this started over in software all right guys so here we are in light burn and um what we are doing is deceptively simple okay they just want three initials it couldn't be easier uh, so we're doing e r and W and they specifically requested the uh, Bookman old font so we're gonna do that and uh, we do want to make sure that it's caps because they requested caps so we'll go ahead and do that again E R W and that looks great uh, and we're just gonna take a quick measurement uh, to make sure that our sizing is right and then uh, we'll go ahead and send it over to the machine they say the best ruler is the one you have on you and all I've got is this flappy thing. So uh, it's gonna have to do, if we come in here and we just take a quick look, it looks like we want something about two inches wide. And uh, what's our max height that we've got? Probably about an inch. Uh, if you can see that there, about an inch to play with. So uh, two by one should be fine. So really quick here, um, we're just gonna grab a box We'll go ahead and drag it in. We'll set it to red, um, just in case we forget to delete it. We know it won't mark. And uh, that's because I have it set to 100 speed, zero power for red. So we'll go ahead and set our width to two inches, and that's gonna convert to millimeters for us. We'll unlock our aspect ratio here, and we'll set the height to one inch. And there we go. We've got a perfect size box that represents the area we wanna work in. We'll resize this so that it fits. And I think that that's gonna be just about good. Um, just a little bit smaller. And that looks nice. Uh, so now we can get rid of the box because we know this is gonna work great. We'll hop into the library. We'll find our Vegetan setting. Um, this is just what I call all of my leather settings. I developed it for Vegetan, but it works great on every leather. Uh, and since these leather bags always use like really thin leather, um, we are going to just go ahead and start with light. If we feel like it needs more afterwards, we can do another pass of light, uh, but we don't want to use medium or dark because those medium and dark settings uh, will really chew through the flaps on this bag uh, and, and we don't want to buy a new bag. So uh, we'll select light, assign it to the layer. We've got 15% power there, 500 speed on our 100 watt laser. Uh, and I like doing leather at about 300 DPI. So that all looks good. We'll go to laser. Uh, we will start it from the center and we'll hit send. So we took care of all of our centering and leveling. So we just want to get a quick focus. So we'll go ahead and focus it. Just like that. It does slope 
back down past the, the briefcase that way a little bit. So I'm just gonna give it one extra half turn just to make sure that we're covered on the focus there and uh, we can go ahead and run this. why we start light guys especially with leather look at the contrast on that mark i mean that is just like really really dark uh, we don't need to go deeper and because this material is so thin we're not going to go deeper we're going to go ahead and call that right there as for cleaning this guys uh clean dry microfiber cloth as usual does the trick 99 percent of the time we're just going to go ahead and give that a quick wipe down you can see already it's gotten a little bit lighter but the contrast there is still excellent that is absolutely perfect uh, we don't need to do a single other thing to this we do just want to remember to grab out our uh, leveling blocks we don't want to give those away and uh, zip this back up and outside of that it is good to go um, that is about as good as we could hope to get That's it guys, another video come and gone. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, like the video and don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna see more, hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time that we post a video. We've got these coming out all the time. They're full of super useful tips and uh, extra information to help you with your laser engraving. If you really love the show, feel free to check out the Patreon. Patreon's growing so fast I and mean, we have so many people. I'm so grateful to everybody who's already contributing to it. And if you wanna to contribute to it, uh, the tiers are inexpensive and they really help support the channel. We have an upcoming live stream on July 3rd and you'll be able to sit down and participate in it with me while I'm doing demos and you can request examples and we can talk about laser settings and all kinds of other stuff. We've already got a bunch of people going. I'd love to see you there too. Uh, so definitely check that out under the $8 tier. And the $4 tier also has unlocked exclusive access to uh, posts that I've been making about running a laser business. And we're really gonna start heading in that direction on the Patreon. If you wanna know more about setting up a shop uh, and how to run the business and things like that you want to talk to somebody who's been doing it that might be a great option for you link to the patreon is down in the description right next to the link to our discord it's a massive community already uh, we're coming up on 70 members and uh, everybody in there has a laser wants a laser uses a laser uh, talks about lasers so if you want to be part of that growing energized community and you want to see what other people are working on talk to them about settings and maybe you know uh, strategy for business and things like that link to the discord is in the description below along with a bunch of other affiliate links that help support the channel so go ahead and check out the 2021 buying guide see what kind of stuff we're using in the shop and if uh, you see something that meets your needs go ahead and purchase it because that also helps to support the channel I think the customer is going to be really happy with this. I'm going to go call them and let them know that their project is done. Uh, but don't worry, we've got lots more videos coming your way right around the corner. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss a single one. If you need anything in the meantime, reach out to me on the Discord. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Later.